are really trying to hunker down on our math. Um, we have, we've got a group who needs a lot of math help. And so we've just been racking our brains with ways to help these kids with their math. And so um, lately we've been trying to incorporate math centers. And so before we get into our actual lesson, I just wanted to show you all this website that when I was like looking and looking and trying to come up with ideas, I found this website. There is some school district that has made, um, has put all the different units or objectives up for the third grade math. And for each objective, they have all these activities. And I was going through them, and there are some excellent, excellent games and review things and practice. And I just, I was really impressed. So I have the website written down that I can get to the CRTs, and I don't know, somehow it can get. We'll put it on Moodle. But um, I would really recommend this site. And we're just going to pull up one because we are going to be talking about geometry today. There's this flashcard um, geometry game. And what happens is down here, I don't know if you can see, they have the word, the vocabulary word, obtuse angle. And so you can pull this up. The kids have to find the obtuse angle. They click on it. And if they're right, it takes away a square. And what they need to do is uh, uncover the hidden picture figure it out what the hidden picture is. And so um, I know a couple of us have done this with our kids and as a review it's just a really fun way for them to review some of their geometry. Uh, My kids um, did this on the um, smart board yesterday and they went crazy. It was so fun. And they got to point and click with me and Gino and all they did it with a partner. Just it was just fun. they just were so excited and so engaged. And I think at the end, too, the picture that pulls up, they have some kind of little fact about the picture. At least the one thing I did. And so you're also incorporating, it's usually like a science type fact, whatever the picture is. I don't um, like his fish. I know mine was some kind of a fish that I did with my kids, and it, it had a little blurb about that type of fish underneath. So, um, but anyhow, so that that's that website, and I'll, I'll make sure we have that for everybody. But um, the lesson that we uh, chose to do was geometry. I know when I start geometry, I'm putting the vocabulary words up on my wall, and it's just so overwhelming because there's so much vocabulary that these kids need to learn for geometry. And so um, we know that the kids, a lot of the kids really learn well with the, the tactile, the um, hands-on type of activities, and that really, having the visual and the hands-on really helps uh, things to stick in their brain. And so this is a lesson that we've used at, mostly as a review of the things that we've done in geometry so far. And so on your table there you've got some toothpicks and some marshmallows. And there's so many things that you can do with this. Um, but what we had done was we would um, have everybody with their toothpicks and marshmallows and we would tell them, you know, okay, guys, we're going to do a review of lines, line segments, your different shapes, your different angles, and you can call out the different what up, the different vocab terms, and then have them make those with your toothpicks and marshmallows. Obviously, your toothpicks are your line segments, and your marshmallows are your points. Um, and so, right now, I, I'll just call out some, and you guys can go ahead and make them with your materials there. So um, the first thing I want you to show me, you can show me a line segment. Show me a line segment. <laughs> and then wait until I ask you to hold it up so I can check everybody. Oh, you all have the pretty toothpicks. If you won't need the marshmallows oh, later, you have to work with them now. <laughs> and you can tell me what a line segment has. What does a line segment have? Okay, next to you should be a red. Oh, one way. Right. One way. One way. Right. 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 And do not be poking each other with the two. <laughs> 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 I will tell you, I've used the pretzel sticks too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then you have a snack. Yeah. But then you have a snack there. <laughs> There's no cleanup later. Very good. Okay, what about what about show me a an acute angle? Show me an acute angle. Show you an acute angle. Oh, 
That's what everybody says. And as you're doing this, you can ask them the what makes that, you know, that it has five sides. They has they have, need to justify it each time why it is that shape. Angle.